The Syrian coast extends for almost 200 kilometers along the Mediterranean Sea. All along this coast have spread out one of the world's best citrus cultivation areas. There, the soil is proper for such cultivation, the climate is optimum, the sun is that of the Mediterranean Sea, the difference in temperature between day and night is little, and the annual rainfall rate exceeds 1,000 millimeters. All these features make the Syrian citrus fruits of excellent specifications, giving them distinguished color, taste and flavor. Sham countries had known citrus cultivation ages ago. Still nowadays, lemon and civil orange trees inspire images with odors of history that delight the spirit and relieve the heart. Many generations ate their fruits, so it was felt that they were part of these ancient Arab-style beautiful houses since remote time, which no one can remember when it was. As all Mediterranean peoples, also Syrians, have known since old epochs the nutrition values of citrus, of their fruits, flowers, and even their leaves. There are table fruits, juice fruits, or jams made out of fruits or fruits peel. The flowers are distilled to extract rose water. The leaves are to scent some sweets. Various essences, perfume oils and cosmetics are also extracted from citrus. Recent excavations in Syria prove that hundreds hectares were cultivated with citrus in this country since the 7th century. However, the interest in citrus increased distinctly in the modern age. In 1954, Syria had imported more than 27,000 tons of citrus. Later, the Syrian government succeeded in developing this important crop. Proper and modern techniques were used in order to reach the highest citrus standards known in the developed countries. In 1978, the Ministry of Agriculture and Agrarian Reform established a specialized citrus bureau. Thus, citrus cultivation started to have a pioneer role as a strategic crop of a great benefit for both producers and consumers. Since that time, the concern was in producing, on the short term, new export varieties. Today, Syria has become the third Arab country in citrus production after Egypt and Morocco and the seventh Mediterranean country in the production of table varieties. Currently, about 27,000 rural households work in the field of citrus cultivation. The number of citrus trees in Syria started to increase, reaching 10 million trees, producing today 850,000 tons of various varieties. The citrus sector also contributes to the JDP at about 8 billion Syrian pounds. Few years ago, Syrian citrus production started to excel and to demonstrate high quality and distinguished environmental and healthy specifications. The adoption of the biological control techniques makes Syrian citrus free of chemicals which are harmful for environment and man health. The Citrus Peru has been working hard during the last few years in cooperation with the Agricultural Extension in order to raise awareness of citrus farmers about the importance of preventive treatments, the importance of integrated management techniques and the importance of abandoning chemicals treatments that could keep the pests up. A specialized lab was established at the Citrus Peru to support the pest integrated management which is an environmental-based strategy focusing on important agricultural practices and on the biological control by using natural predators and parasites to keep pests under control. Cryptolamus montuzieri is the scientific name 
of this predator, which is one of the most important natural enemies bred and released by Citrus Buru. This predator is known locally by the name of Abulid ladybird. It is considered worldwide a symbol of good luck because of its benefits and capability to kill many agricultural pests, mainly the mealybug. Citrus Peru breeds this predator on potato tubers affected by the mealybug. When the beetles grow, they are sucked and placed in carton boxes to be delivered to the farmer's fields affected by the mealybug. The beetles are there released, five beetles on each infected tree. Beetles build their own population and parasitize on the harmful pest, the mealybug. Later, the predator moves to another place in search of food. Another approach to the integrated pest management in general and the biological control in particular was made to control the second dangerous pest, namely the white fly. To overcome this pest, Ma raised bright control campaigns in many citrus cultivation areas. In few years, all species of white flies on citrus were controlled. Also the citrus leaf miner pest and other pests were controlled. The citrus buru is still monitoring and controlling other pests such as the fruit fly. In this connection, different kinds of food and pheromone traps are employed. The adoption of the biological control techniques on citrus has led to reduce the use of pesticides and to increase production quantity. The process called vertical expansion should lead to increased production quantity in one unit area. Indeed, a simple comparison between citrus production in one hectare today and in one hectare over the last 30 years shows the big increase of production in the unit area. Another key program of the Citrus Buru is the Budwood Certification. It aims at obtaining virus-free mother plants. Up-to-date technologies are employed here, among which is the STG, the tissue culture, the indexing and the Eliza tastes. The produced virus-free seedlings are used as mother plants for grafting at the ministry's nurseries for citrus production. The nurseries provide seedlings to fully implement the annual plans. Moreover, surplus of seedlings are now exported to neighboring countries. Also, mother's orchids proved to be successful. They contributed to the development of citrus cultivation in Syria. Citrus Buru, in cooperation with the Agricultural Extension, has developed a number of agricultural practices which contributed to the success of the Integrated Pest Management Program. High-resistant varieties, for example, helped in preventing many agricultural diseases and pests which used to destroy whole season's crops. For example, the Marsico disease has been controlled after the introduction of Marsico-resistant varieties. Also, the red shell insect which led to the deterioration of citrus fruits has been controlled simply by spraying agricultural oils only during the weakest cycle life of the pest. That was impossible using even powerful pesticides. Other important agricultural practices implemented by the Citrus Peru are disposal of crops residues, soil hoeing, weed control, pruning, balanced fertilizing, and improvement of irrigation management which assume high importance because of drought conditions currently affecting the whole region. The latest irrigation systems are applied to reduce water consumptions and irrigation costs as well as to increase production. Syrian citrus find a wide market in the country and in most countries which import citrus from Syria. It is now familiar to see many citrus varieties in the market all around the year. 
One of the reasons of such success is the introduction of various different varieties. In September starts the first fruits production of the early varieties which are mandarin, clementine, strawberry grapefruit, navel orange and lemon. From January to March, medium varieties start with navel orange, clementine, java orange, maradi orange, red blush grapefruit and lemon. Late season varieties continue to give production until June. Such as Valencia orange, March seedless grapefruit, Jaffa orange, lemon and other late hybrids. The Syrian citrus production and marketing are now effective even out of season. The presence of the stored varieties and the expansion of the cold store industries have allowed the consumer to get different varieties of citrus in any month of the year. The new organizational structure of agricultural research has included the citrus research under the General Commission for Agriculture and Scientific Research. The Citrus Peru is still responsible for the development of new introduced cultivations such as bananas, kiwi, avogato and papaya tree. Actually, the consumption of banana is expanded in Syria. Banana production has been developed as protected agriculture crop along the coastal areas. It seems to be economically profitable. Also, kiwi cultivation is always extending in many areas, especially in the coastal areas. Avogado cultivation is spreading gradually as the Syrian market started to realize the importance of this fruit. The same is said for the papaya trees with their good and tasty fruits. Citrus cultivation has become one of the most important strategic cultivations in Syria. Its production starts to be at the top of the Syrian fruits list with olive and other fruits. The consumption of all citrus varieties, with all ways of uses, has become a nutritional and commercial habit which is very common in Syria.